Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over a most feared market talk. Now, most feared market is very, very strange. Now, like, like, like with usual promos, you know, things come down, things change. But this promo is something really weird. Now, I don't know why, but some cards are almost limited, like, like they're scarce right now. I think it could be because people are opening most of your packs now. Most of your prices are where they should be, base seats are where they should be, but some other cards, like the 15 and some other stuff, have skyrocketed a little bit, and I think it has to do with people opening packs that maybe the chance of pulling them are a bit lower because you know it's more most feared oriented and everything you're pulling is most feared so everything else coming up which makes it very difficult to purchase other parts of your team such as the 50 players like the new lt and a few other stuff but the thing is guys this could be a great opportunity to sell and make some coins which i'm going over this today kind of what i think you should sell what you should keep we will sell hold buy right i'm gonna go in that little order but guys before we get into today's video if you do want to be shouted out in the next poodle squad make sure to like the video Turn on that noti bell and of course comment down below poodle squad to do that you have a chance to shout it out now for today's poodle squad shout out we do have none other than michael kavanaugh shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad greatly appreciate you for showing support in each and every video appreciate it guys and if you guys need coins or anything most of your part two today and oh, most of your part three today and everything else make sure down below go ahead and over to my reserve take advantage of discounted coins so on and so forth these code poodle 15 percent off but let's get into it so to the auction block let's start from the top one that I want to go over, like I said, was the 50. Now, the 50 is in a really weird stage. I, and it's not like the cards are up because they're more popular. It's just, it's scarcity. Like, they, there's just not that many on the block. The supply is very, very, very low. It's not being pulled right now, I, I, I suppose. Okay, Brett Favre, 280. He's the lowest, and even I think he's a sell. Because we all know he's going to come down pretty soon. I've seen him at 220. Vernon Davis is at 300k. He doesn't get thresholds, which is kind of weird. So, again, another guy that you could pretty much just sell. Um, Javon Curse isn't bad, which means he's not a bad price. But the thing with Javon Curse is the block share is not too high, which means he's just a pure finesse move speed guy. So, again, I'd probably sell as well there. Now, as we don't, it gets even more ridiculous as we keep going on down, as you can see here. Now, let's see our next side. Okay, so Orlando Pace, he's a left tackle. I mean, he's a good left tackle, but 340 for a left tackle. Maybe Steve Hutchinson 340. Like, maybe we let those slide because you, you they're the best linemen. Maybe they, they have some value with that. But Danny Thompson's 400k. Now, why do I think that's not great? Because again, we're getting scary fast. I don't know. Well, the issue the issue here is I know we're gonna get a speed increase on running backs, and we haven't gotten a running back that surpasses Barry yet, and it's coming soon. And the moment that happens, it's gonna be market shattering, right? So the reason LT has value is because he's close to Barry. The reason you know Reggie Bush had value because he was close to Barry. The reason Barry has value is because he is Barry. You and people, but people are shattered Barry. You literally can't get anything better though. The second be something better than Barry. All these cards who aren't even Barry vanish, right? They go down a lot. Barry finally takes a hit in value, and the next card's King. But he probably only goes for like four or five hundred K because he's not going to be a Team Diamond Master thing. So he's going to end up being a regular generic card, and that's going to directly affect his value. So I, I've been, I, I've wanted LT so bad, but it's been tough for me to buy a running back because I know what's going to happen to this market pretty soon. Patrick Willis, probably the best middle linebacker in the game. So I, I can't really knock him, but 400k is a lot, guys. I'm telling you, this is not what they're supposed to be at. You'd be better off selling your Vernon Davis, your Patrick Willis, and then like Antonio Camardi, 400k. People said he wasn't that great. Now you, you, you could just sell all these cards here, make a few mil if you had like all of them right now, and then hold it. And then when they all drop like 100k, you could easily get them all back and still keep 1 mil, you know what I mean? And then the guy that I think needs to go, like if you have him on your team, he's got to go, DRC. Probably the best cornerback in the game but half a million coins for one cornerback when people are running a man meta scheme that can be played by a lot of guys right now not to mention he's one cornerback so like just don't throw it his side of the field and it's like you know what i'm saying like i would spend that money maybe on a quarterback that you like needed like he had all the stuff maybe the fastest quarterback of the game back i don't know 500k is a lot it's not like you know what i'm saying it's not some like groundbreaking car like he's great like he's one of the best he's probably the best cornerback in the game but, I'm but all it takes is one little market shock to get him down to like 350, 380, 4, 410. And if he goes down to 410, look at that. He's over 500K now. He's 535. You could easily get back around 500K for him and then buy him back for like 380 at at, at minimum. Like, at, like, again, that's the minimum where you're probably going to find him at. So that's not bad at all. 
Moving on from the 50, though, I mean, I think I talked enough about that, but definitely take that into consideration. Now, Legends. Legends are actually decent right now. Now, the LTD Legends are where we're going to be worrying about more. Now, but the Legends are pretty cheap. I mean, like, I can't really argue with 258k for Steve Smith. Like, they're going to come down for sure. I know they're going to come down, but you can't argue. It's at least cheaper than the 50. Vic for 350. So, again, can't knock that. Um, of course, we got John Randall. Now, as we would appear, like, I think Mean Joe Green for 400k is a sell, I think. Joe Montana for over 400k is a sell. Joe Montana is good, I'm not going to lie. But I guess it really depends. I mean, base Joe Montana, not even the LTD. Probably a sell. You know that's going to come down. Um, Edger and James, probably a sell as the LTD as well. It's pretty crazy. You see, like this like the 50. Like I don't think these cards are worth that. I think it's just like because of the market and how little they've been pulled. And, you know, Legend Saturdays is like, not here yet. I'm telling you, I, I'd probably sell Legends too. I'd sell Legends past here. Once your cards get past this value on any of them, I'd probably sell them besides if it can be on. Those are exclusive cases. You want to keep those all year. But I'd definitely sell beyond then. And then let's see. What's another filter here that we can go through? Team of the Week. Team of the Week's always a sell. Joey, Joey Bosa, sell. Chris Harris, sell. Stefan Diggs, sell. Like, you can sell all these cards. I know they're LTDs, and that's why they're going for that much, but still sell them. Now, let's go check out the regular Week ones. Now, these lower ones, I don't think are sells. Like, if you guys really like them, you can't go wrong with a 100K card. But Odell is a sell in my opinion still. Odell's a sell. Uh, John Abraham's decent. Uh, it's up to you guys on that one. Rodney Harrison's a sell. Will Shields. I mean, he's good, right? Will Shields is good and all. He's not bad, but not for that price. For that price, I'd rather go looking at some 50 cards. Like, what is it, 200K? 206K, I'd probably sell Will Shields. Uh, Randall Cunningham's a sell. Shannon Sharp's actually really good. But he's not too far apart from the other tight end. So it really just depends on. I mean, if you're comparing him to Vernon Davis, I think he gets more thresholds than Vernon Davis, but then he's slower. So depends on what you think there. And then, yeah, so on and so forth. Derrick Henry's for sure. He's 100, He's 130% to sell. Chase Claypool is iffy. If you're a guy that doesn't put abilities on his receivers and you just care about pure stats, Claypool's low key like a goat right now. But that's only then if, if and then. And then Tyler Lockett's actually really good. So again, I won't knock you for having Lockett. I mean, I think he's still expensive, but still. And then of course all the LTDs are always sells. And that's about it for that guys. I'm gonna, um, there's not, I don't really wanna go too much lower. I mean, at that point cards are kind of like just bait, like cards at their top tier, like 93, 92 overall, people, those values are based on, do people want them, um, how good they are. But as we go into like 80s and 90s, like people don't really use those as much. Those are more like just training values, like based on what people like buy for training and stuff. Now we'll go over the most food real quick. Russell Wilson. I actually think Russell Wilson's super good. Here's the thing. Powered up and chemmed up, guys. He gets all the passing thresholds. You can get his throw power up to if you want, like a 94. And he has an 84 speed. So, if you're a guy that doesn't really... if Because uh, he's how I play, right? Usually, I don't, like, spam the run with my quarterback. I pretty much try to pass until a play breaks down I need to run. But if a play breaks down, there's space to run. Typically, you don't need Vic to do that. You can just run, like... You can even run with, like, a 76-speed Aaron Rodgers and still get some space. I just want to be, I just like to know that if there is a gap or like I sprint to a sideline, right? And I'm standing there waiting for a pass and there's like a 10 yard gap. I want to be able to, I just want to take it or even a three yard for a first down. I hate when I can't, when I big, you know, the slow quarterbacks chug along. So, I mean, Russell Wilson will get that done and he's going to be uber accurate, like crazy. Now, again, is he better than Vic? I mean, I, I think he might be because Vic can't throw as well. Uh, so Russell Wilson, I can't say he's a sell because he's probably the best quarterback or at least one of them. Troy Paul Miles is a sell for me. I don't think he's all that great. Uh, Jim Brown's for sure so uh, he, he's too much like Bo Jackson and then guys I have a I have a vendetta against Bo Jackson I don't like him in this game uh, Khalil Max if he's cheaper it depends on Ricky Ricky uh, Ricky yeah, I, I don't know it, it depends I think Ricky's better than Khalil Mack but it depends on the pricing and of course look here's the thing Khalil Mack's probably sell because he's probably gonna be getting a Redux card in series uh, two and it does come out pretty soon series three sorry series three and then we have of course Aaron Donald who uh, I want to buy him right now, but I'm really iffy because of that price. Like 400k, I know he's gonna come down to like he's gonna have to come down to 300k fly at this point. But he is Aaron Donald, so that one's up to you guys. But that's about it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Come join the Poodle Squad. Well, again, just turn the notification bell, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and like the video. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Of course, make sure to check out my most feared part two video from this morning. That should be live around, you know, 1045, 11-ish. Make sure to check that out. Come join through. Come through. Show some support. Thank you guys for watching, though. I'm out. Peace.